Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face look using all drugstore makeup. I feel like most of this stuff, like 99% of the stuff that I'm gonna be using today, you can find either in the drugstore, Target. I did use some LA Girl products, but for the most part, everything you can find in the drugstore. So today's look is very smoky. It's very uh, neutral toned, warm, smoky, giving you the feels, grab a cup of hot chocolate. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, which primer? Which primer do I wanna use? I have Catrice Cosmetics Nude Glow Glow Primer, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, and an e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I think when I did my e.l.f. video, I forgot to use this. I think I just used so many different other products that I forgot about this one. So let me see how this one feels. This one kind of feels like the Maybelline like baby skin. Very silicone-y. One thing that really bothers me about e.l.f. is there is absolutely nothing written on the bottle. Like, nothing. Nothing anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer to prime my skin today. This will help to refine pores, fill fine lines, brighten the complexion, and even skin tone. I like that it's kind of like a, more of like a cream vibe. I like primers that absorb more into the skin rather than feel like they just sit on top. Those kind of bother me. This actually feels a lot like Laura Mercier Hydrating. Feels a lot like that one. Hydrating primer. This one feels very nice. Absorbs into the skin. It doesn't make my skin feel like, you know. All right, next thing I wanted to try out is a newer product from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Cushion Color Corrector. So if you guys watch my videos, you know I typically use It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a very thick, full coverage concealer that has a more like salmon kind of pink undertone to color correct uh, this area right here. So I'm gonna try out this one from Wet n Wild. One thing I'm not crazy about so far is I feel like it's a lot of packaging. Like I don't really need the puff. I'm probably not gonna use the puff, but it comes in a cushion like this. So I'm just going to take some of this uh, off here with my finger. Uh Oh, the dogs are back. And this is, by the way, if I didn't say, this is the peach color corrector, peach. So I'm gonna tap this in here on the inner corners. Let's do some color correcting. I think I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of blend it out. I feel like it's definitely brightening, but I don't know if it has the level of coverage to color correct. Maybe a little bit. I guess for this area, I would need more of just a straight up concealer than a color corrector. All right, now I'm gonna do some spot concealing before I do my foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Oh, I haven't used this in so long. This is the shade Light, and I'm just gonna spot conceal areas on my face that I want a little bit more coverage. All right, today for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, their full coverage 24 hour wear. Newer foundation, and um, I just got some new shades of this. When I was wearing it in my drugstore haul video, I talked about how it was doing weird things on my face. I'm wondering if that was because I was wearing an oil that day, and I was it was part of this new skincare thing that I'm doing, and I, I cut the oil in the morning because I feel like it was too greasy on my face throughout the day, so I'm gonna try it without the oil step this time. But here are three shades that I've been wearing. This is shade number 120, Classic Ivory. This is 128, Warm Nude, and this is shade number 220. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little pre-concealing right here. This is shade Light, the same concealer that I was just using for spot. I need some, some coverage here, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Before I do my foundation, I'm gonna do my foundation before my eyeshadow today. All right, so I'm taking my shade number 120 from Maybelline, starting with that one. If I need 220, I can always slide one with some 220. And I'm using a Real Techniques uh, sponge. I haven't used one of these in a while, but I know a lot of people love the Real Techniques sponge. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of 220. For some reason, 128 looks really warm on me. I tested it again on my cheek and I was like, yeah, that looks really, really warm. The 220 does have a lot more neutral undertones to it, which is one thing I really like about that shade. I feel like it looks very matte, like a very natural matte finish, the foundation. It looks pretty good. It does give a very nice coverage. It's a thicker texture than most liquid foundations. This is not my ideal finish, but I do feel like that I could add a highlight and glow with different products. So it looks really good to me. It's got a nice coverage to it. I definitely don't have any complaints. I, I do still think that matte and poreless I like more. I still haven't used the Dewy Smooth yet though. I still gotta use that one. That one's on my list. 
I gotta see how it goes throughout the day though, because like right now I'd be like, oh, it probably works better with a less dry complexion. But when I got oily throughout the day, the last time I wore it, but I was wearing an oil, I will say that. It just like weird things happen around my nose. So I am a little bit more oily than I used to be because of my medication that I stopped taking, which I've noticed weird things. I know I've given you guys updates on like what's changing with my skin. I feel like it's ha going through another change right now. I don't know yet. I'm having like weird breakouts, but they're lasting less time than before. So I'm not sure what's going on right now. I have another dermatologist follow-up appointment pretty soon. So we'll see what he has to say. All right, so next concealer, I want to try the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer to brighten up the under eyes. This is the shade Light Ivory. I like this color. I think I tried to use this concealer, but I didn't have the right shade. So now I have a shade that works better. It's definitely a lighter weight than something like Shape Tape, but some people Shape Tape is very drying and, and they don't really like the finish of it. So I totally get wanting to have something that doesn't do quite as much as Shape Tape. I think Wet n Wild just came out with some liquid highlighters. I feel like a lot of people are coming out with liquid highlighters right now that I kind of want to try out. This looks really good. This concealer looks really good with this foundation. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of this concealer under the brow. I have been concealing up here lately, all the freckles and veins. I have very veiny eyelids. All right, so for under eye setting powder, I didn't really have a lot of options. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. This is the sheer powder. I believe it's their HD powder. So I'm just gonna take the sponge, dip a little bit into that. I do like to just Bake in that area right there, not my whole under eye, just like the inner corner. Using a brush, I'm just gonna dust some on the rest of the cheek. Maybe I need to do a little bit of powder is what I need to do on my face with this foundation, just around my nose. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fit Me. This is the loose finishing powder. This is the shade 10, which is fair light. I'm hoping it's not too light. I think it'll be fine since it's just sheer. And then using that same brush, I'm just gonna dust it Oh, I just whistled. <laughs> right around here is where I tend to have most leakage. All right, highlight today. I'm gonna try this one from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Blossom Glow. It's one of their newer Mega Glow highlighting powders. Oh, it's a little bit light for me. I pulled out this one, the Maybelline Master Chrome, but I've used this one so many times, but I love this highlighter, the Molten Gold. So I'm gonna take some of this one and pop it. Oh wow, that's really pretty. It is very pink though. I don't even know what eyeshadow I'm doing yet. Wow, light hand. Very light hand with that one. That is a really pretty highlighter though. It's kind of like the iridescent vibe without being too purpley. All right, so for brows, I, you know, I really liked that e.l.f. product. I don't know where it is, the, the e.l.f. brow gel. Like a, it's kind of like a pomade. So I pulled out a brow pencil. This is from Maybelline, the Total Temptation Brow Definer. This is the shade 310, which is medium brown. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Look at how tiny. So I'm gonna be using this to try and fill in my brows and then I'll go in with a wax of some sort or a soap of some sort after. So I like to fill in this area down here towards the bottom. And then right here, I just go straight up. Oh wow, this one looks really good for that. Look at that. This pencil is a lot like the Benefit one. This is nice. You know what I want to try really badly is the ColourPop I think it's like their brow gel. I've heard so many great things about it and I'm like, you know what, I need to, I need to get on that. All right, so I finished doing my brows. I, I really do like this pencil. The only thing I don't like, which is my issue with brow pencils in general, is I really like the shape similar to the Benefit one, but once it loses that point, I stop liking it as much. And it's like, how do I get that point back? Because it's hard to get the little strokes when it's kind of dull, you know? It's kind of like a round, dull blob. So I think I still prefer like something a little bit thinner, just that way at least it stays thin. But the color was perfect. I feel like I went a little bit, maybe a little bit darker than what I normally do. But like the more you brush through it, I feel like the more kind of feathery it starts to look, which is what I do like about brow pencils. This color was medium brown and I still have to find like a wax or some sort to make my brows stick. Anyway, so now I'm actually gonna start my eyeshadow and I'm going to be using this really pretty eyeshadow palette. But first, it's time to prime. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, the photo focus one. I really liked the face primer, so 
let me try out the eye primer. And I'm only doing this like the crease and below because I did use concealer on the top part of my lid just to conceal the veinage going on. And for eyeshadow palette today, I'm gonna be using this one from Morphe. This is the Day Slayer, the Day Slayer 15D palette. I thought this was a very pretty eyeshadow palette. I mean, the tones in here are gorge. I'm not gonna be using the orange ones though. I think I'm gonna go more in like a mustardy direction, kind of like this, this like a warm mustard, a warm stirred. I'm gonna do a wash with the shade Natural, and then I'm gonna go in with Forever on top of that. And this is a NYX brush, number 32. I love this eyeshadow brush. It is so nice. It's my favorite, like, first shadow shade, you know? I like how I say, you know, I'm just waiting for a response. I just need somebody to agree with me. Anyway, I've been doing a lot of home decor things. My dining room chairs came in, they look so good. And I got some more stuff just to kind of finish off the dining area. Some placemats. I think it turned out really good. It's very Joanna. I got a sofa for this room. So I'm gonna start to fill up this room. I know there's kind of a little bit of an echo in here. I used to have a rug in here and then it got ruined. So I had to get rid of it. And I'm like, I don't wanna just buy a rug to buy a rug. So I'm trying to find a rug that I really want. That's currently where I'm at with that right now. So that's why I don't have a rug in here. Ooh, do I wanna go editor or forever? Forever is a little bit more like uninterrupted status. I think I'm gonna go editor. I feel like that kind of goes with the vibe. And we're just gonna layer this next. Next shade I'm gonna go in with is Epic. Really pretty like medium brown, darker medium brown shade. And I'm gonna bring that into the crease kind of all the way across. I wouldn't say it's this halo, but it's like more of a smoky story. story. Yes, thank you, John. It's a smoky story. All right, now I'm gonna take some of the natural shade. This is the first one that I use. And I'm gonna kind of go over all of it and blend it together especially just like right here on the lid. I'm just gonna kind of go over the whole thing like this. A little round ass lid. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash lines. That way I can see what, I, what I'm dealing with here. So starting with natural and then the editor shade. You take a smaller like smudger kind of brush, use the epic shade and kind of smoke it out more, deepen it up the lower lash line. This is more of the epic shade. I'm just, I wanna make it a little bit darker. All right, so now I really wanna try this out. This is the e.l.f. It's like a glitter type glaze that you can add on top of lipstick, eyeshadow, highlight area, anywhere. I've been wanting to try it out on my eyes. So I really like that this is a lighter color. This is just my skin right here. I'm just gonna leave it like that instead of a put, putting a color on there. So I'm just gonna layer some of this on here. This is what it looks like. Look how cool this stuff is. It's like just like a sheer glitter. So I'm just gonna take some on my finger and tap it. It's just a little something, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of the darkest shadow in the palette, which is Sweet, and I'm gonna smudge that into the lash line before I add a black liner to kind of set everything in place before I do the lashes. And then I'm just gonna do a line along the lash line using the e.l.f. liquid liner. This is just in black. I really do like this liquid liner from e.l.f. I feel like it was very easy to work with every time that I've used it and it doesn't bleed at all. What else could I ask for? All right, so I just curled my lashes. I'm gonna do my mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is a newer mascara. I've never tried it before. Let's hope that my lashes don't straighten out because that is just the worst when that happens. I can feel my lashes, they're already going straight. It's already happening. All right, and now for the waterline, I'm gonna use this pencil from LA Girl. This is called Lasting Brown. It's the LA Girl Ultimate Stay Auto Liner in the shade Lasting Brown, but look how like rich it is. Very rich brown. All right, so I decided to put black in the waterline because I felt like the brown just wasn't enough contrast, but it's the same brand. I used the LA Girl Ultimate Eyeliner Pencil. And now I'm adding some of that sweet, the really, really dark shade that I used on the top lash line onto the lower lash line to smoke it out and just make it a little bit more, you know, you know. And now I'm gonna put some false lashes on. You already know what lashes I'm putting on. Coco Lashes, it's one of the best affordable lash brands I think you can find. I would love to see them 
in drugstores. That would be awesome. Anyway, so I'm using the Duo Lash Glue. This is the brush on adhesive, the, the green tube. This one's been working best for me, although I do have a little bit of irritation on the lash line. It's probably from Duraline. All right, so now I'm gonna bronze and I'm gonna be trying out my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, seeing what, all, what it's all about. Just from looking at it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be bronzy enough, you know? I got a little bronziness going on. It fooled me. Okay, next is blush. I wanna show you guys the warm hibiscus, how it applies because it's so pretty. This is from Flower Beauty. You see how it's got like all that illumination in it? It's such a pretty blush color. And it's also pretty pigmented too. So I'm gonna take this and kind of drench my cheeks in it. I feel like it adds like such a pretty glow to the cheeks. It gives a little blush action. And I'm really glad I changed the liner to black. I feel like it goes much better with the vibe. This mascara is still too straight for me though, I must say. I like the, um, the e.l.f. waterproof one, it's pretty good. And I like the other Maybelline, the Big Shot mascara, but this one is just, I need something stronger for my top lashes for sure. I can't tell you how obsessed I am with this blush, honestly. I feel like I could talk about it for a long time. I love this color. The finish of it is just insane. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? All right, so we're gonna do Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Give Me Mocha. All right, so I grabbed the lip liner. This is the LA Girl one in the color Natural. This is really just to help guide my shape along. I have to do a lip liner just to get a gauge of my Cupid's bow. And also I overline like one side a little bit and not the other side. All right, and here we go with the Wet n Wild cat suit. So how are we feeling about the liquid cat suit? It's like that tone that is very close to being mauve, but it is a little bit more mocha-y and I really, really like it. This is such a pretty shade. This is the full face finished look. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. In a 70 degree, cut that, cut that. Don't do that. What the fuck is going on? Where 